we have all the parts to assemble a snare drum. We'll take it step by step. This drum has six tension rod casings and the shell is pre-drilled to accept these. I've already done one. We'll line up the next tension rod casing. And on the inside of the drum, it takes a washer and a screw. This is the bottom of the drum, so we're putting on the snare side head and the hoop. And then we're running the snare wires through the little snare gate here and uh, we'll attach the butt plate on one side, again with a washer and a screw. The butt plate holds the strap that holds the snare wires against the drum. On the other side of the drum is the snare throw-off lever. The snare throw-off lever can hold the snares tightly against the bottom drum head, or when you release it, it releases the snares from the drum head. Now we'll do the top head. Make sure it's seated properly, then we add the hoop, line up the holes, and then we'll put a tension rod in here and tighten the lug. We go finger tight at first and then we'll use the uh, drum key. As you see, these are plastic washers. This is not an expensive snare drum. Better drums have metal washers so you can really tighten that head as hard as you want. Now we'll use a drum key and uh, tighten the lugs a little more. We tighten each tension rod in a star pattern so it seats evenly. I also always press down in the center of the drum head to make sure it's evenly seated as we go. Sounds pretty good. Now we'll turn on the snares. So that's all it took to assemble this snare drum. Let's try it with the drum kit.